हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन सी वॉट आर रिस्पॉन्सिव डिजाइन डेट वी कैन यूज वाइल बिल्डिंग वेबसाइट्स ओके सो वेन एवर वी हर्ड अबाउट हिस रिस्पॉन्सिव डिजाइन्स सो वॉट थॉट केम इन टू अवर माइंड इज दैट रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस इज समथिंग वेन वी सी दैट लाइक सम ऑपरेशन आर ऑपरिंग वेन वेन एवर वी आर प्रेजिंग एनी बटन्स और or whenever we are like hovering on some some or other tags so many people think that responsive is just to make our website work on different functions let's say we are hovering or we are clicking then something is going to happen so people see that thing as a responsiveness but if we talk in case of design so if we are talking about design responsiveness so what what the what is the first thought that came into mind is my website should work properly on each and every device that i used okay but the common but the but the, but the common thing that like but the common thing or common device where website we oftenly use is our desktop screen or laptop screen you know but see what is i will try to give you a brief a short and brief history of how this responsive design came into existence okay yeah so before uh, coming to this point i wanted to show you the first ever website which was created in human kind by by humans okay so as you can see on screen there is a website called world wide web so it is created by cern laboratories in 1991 so this is the first world wide web project so it will give you a idea of like what is this world wide page so it it consists of various hyperlinks that you can see in blue color so whenever i click on any hyperlink it will redirect us to any different page and that other pages also having some hyperlinks so it is a web page which which connects dots to uh, like let's say some some another links or some another files okay so this is the very basic and first ever website which was built okay so as you can see on the screen this website is not responsive and how i am saying this let's say if i am inspecting this website okay so let's say i am just decreasing its pixel let's say i want to view this in mobile view or let's say something lesser than mobile view then you can see the data is not getting arranged properly the height like the font height and font width font color it is not changing okay so yeah in this way i can say that this website is not at all responsive so after the introduction of 9 like css the first module in 1994 then people people started to people start to take design in another way so before introduction to this design so there were mostly there were mostly the screen the laptop screen or monitor screen used to come in 3 pixels only so the first uh, first screen size was 640 into 480 after that the another screen size was 800 into 600 and the third one that we used to do was 1024 into 1680 so these were the like ideal screen sizes that that people used to use in those times and according to this sizes only the website design were created okay so th they used to create the designs like pixel perfect for these screens only but what happened after the launch of our mobile applications like android you can say or tablets so the screen sizes started to differ so today we have a lots of screen sizes available for various devices so i will show you how to like how how this uh, websites are now nowadays are responsive before like compared to those old uh, old websites so before that uh, you can have a look at a yahoo website which was created back then in 1994 the year in which our css was introduced to the world okay so you can see the website looks very very like very simple okay very simple and it consists of various hyperlinks as you can see okay so this is a website called web design museum museum you can find out various websites that like the various websites old version are like uh, kept here so if you want to have a look then you can just visit this web design museum site okay so coming back to the topic about responsiveness so in today's world we uh, like we use something known as media queries to achieve this website responsiveness 
so today we have various uh, like various types of screen sizes suppose uh, let's say i wanted to show you so i can show you on youtube.com let's say and yeah so after opening youtube.com i am just trying to inspect this site by right clicking so i am just inspecting this and let's say i wanted to open this in some another tag yeah okay so i just wanted to open my this inspect tag in another tag so yeah i think yeah it's good i guess that's good so yes you can see on screen that my youtube is now opening at what size i can see that by hovering over this yellow line so it is saying that 2528 pixel okay so that's the like maximum size for which youtube has uh, added media queries i will talk about media queries in later videos uh, for just understand it like a, it is a mechanism by which we can make our websites responsive okay so you can see that whenever there are lines added wherever there are there are lines added the dark lines so in that in those many particular pixels our youtube has google has divided youtube in different different screen sizes so and now how they works basically so let me show you by just decreasing the size of the window okay so let's say i am decreasing it so right now it is about 240 like 2415 so yes now you can see how my website layout is getting changed so it has adjusted himself according to the layout size okay so right now my screen size is let's say 1810 pixel okay so let us see by decreasing it more yeah so you can see how my layout is changing slowly slowly yes so it is getting it is getting adjusted according to the size of my layout so let me try the small small lower for smaller one yeah see how the layout is getting changed according to the 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 layout or the size of screen so you can select any uh, like screen you want we have option over here for the chrome browser we can select any screen let's say i want samsung galaxy x20 extra you can select that screen and see how how my web page is looking like beautifully okay so no css is disturbed no text is disturbed and see yeah so that is what i am trying to explain you guys how to make our website responsive so what what we are using in this like for making our website looks beautiful so in in that case we are using media queries and what are media queries that we are going to see in the upcoming video so yeah in the upcoming videos we we will see media queries in depth and how to make our website responsive a short introduction to media queries and how to apply media queries and make it responsive over various screen sizes so yeah i hope that's it for this today's video i hope you got the ideas a little bit of history and a idea about how this responsive designs comes into existence and that's all said for this video so see you soon in next video until then thank you so much for watching bye guys